train versus Lamborghini. Sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar Lamborghini. Uh -huh. And barreling down on it right now is a massive train. But be Okay, Feastable's train is absolutely insane. But Jimster, Mr. Breast, the goat himself, why don't you just give the Lambo to me? Like, like if you if you hate Lamborghini so much, because that's the car you use more than anything else. I guess it's because it's a hype beast car. Why don't you just give it to me? And give me the train too. You might as well. Clearly, you don't need the train, so why don't For you give the, the impact, train to me too? I'm giving this Lamborghini to Blake. Thank you. And on top of sending the train, I'm also gonna have these eight Blake. soldiers shoot ten thousand bullets at your Lamborghini. That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And you okay? This is the same guy who keeps losing every challenge, right? This is the same guy, right? Hey, I'm live on Twitch every single Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Link is in the description. I better see you there. You have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that, some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And then basically just a wall of cars what? to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I now, would y'all say that he might be one of the biggest L takers of all time? I mean, he's lost three, what, two or three Mr. Beast videos in a row. I don't know if he can recover. It is, Jimmy. Okay, but so far, nothing's there. You should get the building. Blake immediately drove to three stores where I gave him my credit card, and he literally spent $78,000 on you supplies. For the sub. And since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh, my God. I can't believe I bought all this stuff, and this isn't even everything, man. He's got a water truck. Some of his junk cars came in. He's got a Connex crate over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine Right over here. How did he get this much stuff? This is crazy. Don't Dang it, sorry. I just saw a quick flash across the screen. I was just wondering. Don't worry about the guys person. with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. You know how sketchy this looks? Like delivering all this nonsense that you just have people just stare, just just towed it up with ARs? I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. Oh. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh, gosh. oh. It's been about six hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down. But now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked them if this would stop the bullets, and they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dude, he's stuffing the storage container with a van and a giant tube. I want to know what Mr. Beast's mom thinks of these videos. Y'all think she ever just looks at his YouTube channel and he's just like, she's just like, my collie. What is my dar my, my, my crazy and tarnation son doing? Wasteful. I did not raise him on these principles. <laughs> like, what is his mom doing? And once I saw it put together, I was honestly pretty impressed. Run me through what you built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front. And the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns because those things are big and scary. I got all my storage containers and a bunch of water. And if you come right over here, you will see his Lamborghini tucked away amongst everything. There it is, nice and cozy. Do you think all of this will stop the bullets? Hmm, so I had a long year of, long year, I've had, I spent a long time in the military. Miss the car, get $10,000. Okay, they're not, aim, aim here, shoot here. Is this a Naruto symbol? What, what is going on here? But through my time of serving the military, I can confidently assume that all these billows are just going to penetrate right through this. Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. That's the best odds I've had yet, so. And before I have them shoot 10,000 rounds, come with me to the Lamborghini. Not only are you competing for this Lamborghini, but for 100 grand as well. What? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? This will be enough to cover the insurance. <laughs> 24 hours is up, eight scary men, 10,000 bullets. Versus everything that Blake has built. And we already know Blake is gonna find a way to lose, because that's what Blake does. You know what I'm saying? Blake is, he's just a certified L taker. And some people, that's just how they have to live their lives. 
just L after L after L. All I know is Blake's big next win is going to be the biggest win of his life because he's going to be tired of taking L's. Or is the win being in a Mr. Beast video in the first place? I don't know, bro. Are you ready? Just get it over with. Freaking out. We're locked and loaded, ready to fire on you, Jimmy. Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! Fire! Oh! oh my god. Oh, they are unloading on his fortress. Oh my god. Hey. Oh no, that, that car is cooked. Make him stop. That car is cooked. Uh, they're oh actually my god. ripping through the center box now. Oh man. Oh god. Shout out, shout out to the bullet counter who's just like counting every single shot that they're taking, man, with the pinpoint accuracy. Whoever sat there and rewatched the footage and count all 10,000 bullets, shout out to y'all, man. Yo, Blake's walls are crumbling! And what we haven't told Blake is these guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. I'm pretty sure Blake probably assumed that by now, considering that you've caught him off guard with every single thing you've ever done in your lifetime. So, I mean... Or should I say, whatever remains after this. They just brought out the LMG. I know you're not about to try to make Blake stop a plane. I mean, a train. I know that's not about... You just... Do you like seeing uh, Blake suffer? Breastmeister, be honest with me. Do you see Blake's suffering and, for the lack of uh, better terminology, get off to it? I'm just asking the, the, the real questions. Gee. Right there, man. One bullet Stunt to penetrate, and it's going in his Lambo. Oh my God! These are the last bullets. Let's go, go! All clear? Let's go! Oh God, please be safe, please be safe. Again, shout out to the bullet counter, man. How is it? She's clean, baby! <laughs> 10,000 rounds and not one connection, baby. There's no bullet holes in your Lamborghini. And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. Okay, but today yeah, he's... Okay, only two? Only... I thought he was in three. Okay, he's so back for a third and final attempt to win the grand prize. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100 foot Lamborghini. Fr okay, Blake, you just need to call up that one friend that you know you went to college with, the absolute mathematical genius, right? And just let him, let him calculate, let him calculate everything for you. Okay. If you let him do it, you have a 70% chance of succeeding in protecting Lamborghini. If that guy is Asian, it goes up to 96%. Trust me, I know from real life experience. Freefall. There goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fall? So you get all the pillows in the city. Okay. Step two, get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. All right, okay, guys. Okay, so I all you good. need to do is go to Mattress Firm and buy every mattress available, okay? That's all you need to do. News and bad news, we passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all yeah. off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, okay. the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard concrete or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. You know how confused those those store workers were, and you probably know how irritated they were 
seeing these large, these just bolt and bolt uh, pillows and having to scan every single one of them, I'd be so pissed off. You had to at least give me a tip. I wouldn't care. I need you to pay me for some, because this is too much. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. How long? Blake! Um, is he serious? What is this? He got mattresses, pillows, and blankets, but he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the key to everything. <laughs> Where is Blake? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, it was already super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Ooh. That bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain. And this Blake, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if this thing is surviving the fall. Like I know there's I know there's a lot more time left into the video, but I just thought not looking understand. good for Blake. I don't think that wasn't a matter of percent chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Chandler, how much time is left? One hour. Blake is screwed. I have a little bit of bubble wrap left. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. Let's drop this bad boy. Well, the failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Like, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? I mean, I'm it has to. Too. He's more certain than me. <laughs> I'm positive about this one. I bought every air mattress at Walmart. If this won't catch it, I don't know what will. I did everything I can. Here's a few stools bar, Blake. Oh, thank you, Mr. You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have some good chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm, I'm not even on Walmart, sir. Can you put it like in Target or something? I'm not, like, I'm not gonna say Target next Walmart, but like I'm not gonna say it, but I just, I don't, I don't so curious what you think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 mattresses, how many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. If that is stop a Lambo, I don't know what will, well, man. Yes, yes. That's two yeses. Okay. 24 hours of work down to this, no pun intended. Three, two. I forgot about the money inside of it too. I mean, not sound good. please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Like, at, at some point, everything inside the Lambo is going to be all jumbled up and messed up. Like, it might look okay on the outside, but are we sure the engine is still in place? The chassis, I don't even know where that is. Like, ex exhaust fine? You know what I mean? Like, all right, he's moving the Connex crate out the way. There's no way you got that Lambo. Get these boxes out of the way. Oh. What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work? Yeah, this Princess Castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth. You might have been the first person in history to catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Drive it! I put 20 on it, you want four. Four right now! Four right now! Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bump. Little? If that's little, then what am I? If that's little. Which we found out by this official appraiser, this was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by probably 10 grand. Thank you so much. Thanks for the good news. And now is the perfect time to mention that phase three is flaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest nightmare. We have recreated the flaming cars challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow. That's a low blow. But seeing how he's done this before, we're gonna up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake Even if you save the car, it's just gonna smell like smoke. 
don't want your car to smell like smoke, man. I promise you, it's a nasty, it's a nasty way. He spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. It's eight in the morning, just woke up. We got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up, coming to a point right above the car. And most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that will deflect the car? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container because that's what ended his challenge last time. He then had them cut out the box. I'm 90% sure that that uh, I, I, I bet like that they're gonna drop the container on the car. Bottom of the container like, that gonna, looks around gonna, the limb. It's gonna drop on the, the car. The storage container could put a lot of damage. Completely crush it? Yeah. You can? I mean, yeah, that thing weighs a whole lot. And with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Now, who measured that? What do you mean You're three good, centimeters? Like it is so I don't see nobody with the ruler oh, out. How close to scraping the car? I call cap. Who measured it? Man. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Fake numbers. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that! All right, next we're gonna bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's, that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect their car? 100%. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes just like his 500 grand. And he's as out. usual, oh, Blake utilized done. every last second. I think he's Three, done. Three, two, one. Not I'm quite sure what that dirt accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> time is up. No. Let's see if unlike last I'll time, think, I think he's done wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Three. Redemption. Blake, you lost five hundred thousand dollars from this exact challenge. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Moment of truth. You have a lot of that with Mr. Bro. Three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird like pointed roof thing versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire. Will Blake be one step closer to going home with a brand new Brand new, but is it, is it really Will brand Blake, new after all this? One step closer. What makes a car brand new? This don't look brand new to me. It looks worn, torn, tired, depressed, upset. It looks very anti-happy right now. To going home with a brand new Lamborghini filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing. We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Drop it. Oh. 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 Oh, you did not I want feel that. like that's exactly what he didn't want to happen. Oh, no. You still feeling good? <laughs> not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. <laughs> All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it, let's do it. Drop it. PTSD, man, what a lovely day. Oh my God, the roof looks like it's already buckling. And just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm gonna take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're currently watching on is the new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Ooh. This phone can record slow-mo and 4K. The camera on this is crazy. We're like 200 feet away and it's nighttime and look at how crystal clear it is. <laughs> and go ahead and drop it. Oh. oh! Oh, that hurt to watch. It also has a ton of new features with Galaxy AI, like photo assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. What? Yo, Photoshop is crazy, bro. You can never believe what you see. There is not earrings in his ear right now. At this point, is Blake even a real person? There's a Because I don't know if a real person can take as many L's as this man does. Blake might not be real. He might just be a whole facade. He could just be a hologram. I have a new car. For the picture you do. Whenever you're ready. 
This phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes finding information incredibly easy. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers instantly. I could have just told you. I was genuinely impressed by this phone. Y'all know how much Blake's friends probably cook them in real life, too. Back to back losses. I would never let them forget. I know I wouldn't. As the as the good Samaritan and positive and happy person I am, he would never forget. I have to remind him at least five times a week. At least five times a week on separate occasions. Every time I'm re I remind him too, I have to at least talk about it for mm, 35 minutes. He's not forgetting from me. And I think you will be too. So go to samsung.com, click the link in the description or scan this QR code to check it out right now. And let's drop the next car. We dropped car after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. But we also noticed that all of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Ooh. Your crate on the bottom is bowing. At this point, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final call. He's fine. He's fine. What the worst? Yes. Fall. Uh, fall. Oh, oh, no. Bro, it's got to be a thousand degrees in there. His car He's has fine. to be melting now. We got the fire extinguisher. Oh, yeah. I forgot cars are flammable. Duh. Yeah. You might be cooked. Oh, he's running so fast. Be careful, Blake. I'm coming. How is it? It's okay. It's okay. Are you sure? Yes. You like Can you that? turn it on? If one more car was dropped, this crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Can you turn you it on? You cut a car out of midair. You've now deflected the engine might just cars. be melted. And now it's time for phase four. Bring yep. on. Yep, phase four. Here we go. Yep. Let's just stop the train. Let's just do what you can't even do in a video game, aka GTA. Let's just stop a train. The train. The timer has officially started. I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? Blake knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet, so he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I've tried to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train, and the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time, they'll save me. You just need two inches off I the track, Cap. and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man. And then once I have all this done, I can just put concrete on top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Lake is work it gonna work though. Like how many, how many, how many, ho how much horsepower is kicking that train? Five hundred thousand. Like with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he lost two hundred fifty thousand dollars in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I. Th 750,000. You're only supposed to lose that amount in like gambling or something. How do you, man. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a yeah, lot Lambo more objects work to no the more. tracks. Let's keep it above. Like shipping containers, mattresses to cushion the impact. Blake's worked so hard. I'm now on his team. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know what he's doing. Too bad there's only 11 minutes left. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his build before time ran out. And it was actually starting to look impressive. Like, I don't... I don't think a train should be able to go through all that, but the last time I tried to push a train, it almost ran me over. So I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I have the right capability to. This is it. On. Three. The final stretch. Two. I was Mr. Beast. Maybe like defense. 25 or 26. Time's up, stop. Turn it off. Turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh my God. From phase one shipping containers, phase two. I doubt. I doubt Blake even cares about the Lamborghini no more. He just wants to stop losing. Like if I was Blake, I would just want to stop losing in front of fit, in front of hundreds of millions of people. That'd be my only motivation. 
If he loses this cha challenge and never comes back, he's forever a loser to hundreds of millions of people. You know how hard that is? Use mattresses on, Blake. and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man. Bring and it Lambo on. can't even Before drive we for real, let's everything. Keep it we need to back the train up. We're gonna go really far back. That way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy, that sounds awful. Be honest, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we had to put the Feastables logo on the train. The new formula is the best chocolate on earth. Do yourself a favor and go give it a try. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's coming! It's gonna speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before impact. Dude, it is going quick. It's just gonna derail, it's just gonna derail. Here I, know, I don't know. Let's I have no clue what's about to happen. Is he cut? Is he cut? Is he cut? No, he's oh, not. Man. Wait, wait, wait. He stopped wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. He's not cut. Wait, I think it stopped. Oh, oh my God. God. Wait, oh I my goodness. So oh my God. I was almost scared for Blake's mental health. I know his DMs is flooded with either women wanting to hit on him because Blake is a handsome man or people calling him a loser. Mostly people calling him losers. I know I know that's what his DMs look like. Oh, I would, Blake needed this. Oh my man, God. Man, he needed oh this. Oh my God, I did it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The Lambo don't even work no more, but that doesn't even matter. This is your new Lamborghini, Blake. Not only did he win the Lamborghini, but he also got all this money. Yes! Congrats! I did it! You want to know the best way to end this video, Blake? What? Well, I've been going to Walmart and buying Feastables right now. It's the best tasting chocolate on the planet. Third time's the charm. See you guys later. Reese's next. Yes! Mr. B. Who, who, who is that? Look at Queso, man. So motivational.